Hi, good morning. Uh, I just want to make a quick video for you on how to create some of these shapes and align some of these shapes uh, as you attempt to recreate a Peter Shire teapot here. Uh, here's one option. I'm going to show this other one that we have. There's a scorpion. This one's going to be kind of challenging, I think. Let's go back. Ah, these boxes, right? So I'm going to kind of show you how to get started on making a hollow box like this, as well as um, stacking these cones. So let's start by stacking the cones. I'm going to go to Tinkercad. And let's go back home to Tinkercad. And we need to make a new design. And usually when you make a new design, well, always when you make a new design, Tinkercad gives you this very interesting title. We're going to simplify it and call this Peter Shire Teapot. Hit return. Um, let's zoom out a little bit. Well, actually, let's make the cone. So we have two cones stacked on top of each other, but the cones um, are kind of cut off here, right? So we don't have a top. We don't have a sharp edge of the cone. So I'm going to click and drag the cone to roughly the middle of my work plane. And we're not going to get exact with the scale quite yet. Um, that will be in a future assignment. Just We're going to kind of eyeball it here and guess how long to make this cone. I'm assuming I don't know, something like this. Maybe make it a little taller, like so. Um, the real challenge here, though, is to make it so that the top isn't a pointy top, like so. When you click on the cone, you have these controls here under the color where you can adjust the top radius. So very, very nice. Let's drag top radius out a little bit. Base radius. And if I look back at my Peter Shire, it's a little taller, I think. OK, awesome. Uh, now, because this is a mirror image of itself, I'm going to click on the cone, Command C to copy, Command V to paste. Um, let's line these up. Well, actually, I could rotate it first. So, right, my second one is highlighted here. I'm going to use this rotate button here to rotate it 90 degrees, or 180 degrees, I should say. Um, like so. so, that's what these two little buttons are. This one here will let you rotate it this way. Uh, now I'm going to align them. So we're going to go to the Align tool after selecting both, and then simply line them up on their axis. There we go. Um, and now it's just a matter of raising it. So raising this top one, right? So if the height of them are 20, I just simply need to raise the second upside down cone up 20. And this should... Let's see, technically work, but I could already tell it's not. No biggie. Let's see, 42. Huh. So I guess height here, what does this refer to? Oh, yeah, don't use this number. I'm going to undo this. Uh, I think because I cut the top of the cone off, we're not going to use this measurement. So let's go back a little bit. So once you have them aligned like this, um, I'm selecting one of the cones, clicking on this top white square, that will give you a height measurement. So now I know how high I have to raise this so that they are kind of perfectly stacked together. So now I'll click on the top cone, click and drag up on this black triangle, and we'll go up 42 clicks. In this case, we're talking about millimeters, like so. And now we'll zoom in. You can see how perfectly those fit. I'm going to hold down Shift and Control to move this around. Um, yeah, that's nice and tight. A perfect fit. Okay, so there's the top of my, or I, the body, I guess, of my teapot here. Peter Shire here, he has blue on top and uh, orangish red on the bottom. So let's go back to Tinkercad. I'm going to select a blue color. And for the bottom, we'll do uh, red. So you might want to be able to move this around together since these two pieces do not want to separate anymore. Um, let's group them. So I'm going to click and drag over the shape. 
click on the group button, the problem that happens is they both turn red. So in order to avoid this, if you'd like to group without kind of grouping the colors together, click on the color here now that you've grouped it, and you need to check multicolor down here. So this way it will force Tinkercad to remember the colors that you've used. Okay, next is the hollow box. Um, let's go back to Shire here. So here is the Bauhaus teapot. Um, Zbarth, how do I make this hollow box? Well, you're basically going to have to manually create each wall. So um, Tinkercad is not smart enough to have you tell it exactly what sides be a certain color, the inside and the outside. So, um, and if you're if you chosen to recreate this teapot, you don't have to get all the edges lined up the same color. Um, but I would like you to have one side red, one side purple, one side yellow. So let's go to Tinkercad, and I'm going to drag out a box. And is it a square? Let's see. Yeah, it looks like a square. Not quite a perfect cube, but um, like these walls look like the same width. So I'm going to start by just flattening a cube. And we're going to give it the same dimensions on either side. So we'll do 50, 50, OK. And then squash the cube by clicking on this top button. That will shrink it down. There we go. So it's roughly 3 centimeters high. And if I look at a top view, you can see it's perfectly square. All right. Now I'm going to Command C. Command V, and let's line them up side by side. So I'm going to hold down. Well, so let's change the color of one of the sides so we can tell the difference here. Okay. Um, let's try out the align tool here. So I've selected both. We're going to click on align, and then uh, let's see if any of the previews will do. Let's have to click on red. Well, at least they're stacked on top of each other now. Uh, I'm going to get out of a line. And then we're going to shrink down the sides of this to roughly here. So now I've got my red base. And what I'm hoping is one side of the wall that I'm, only, that I'm going to have to copy three times once we turn it around. So let's flip this up, lift it up. So here you can kind of see where I'm going with this. Let's move this over. So I'll leave it up to you how you want to align this, but this is basically how you're going to make this box. And I'm doing this pretty quick. I don't have exact measurements. I'm even kind of doubting my three millimeter uh, size here. Let's go like that. Okay, Command C, Command V. Can move this one over. And this, you'll have to experiment with the align tool a little bit to get everything lined up. Hold down shift, click on align. I believe it's over here, maybe over here. Okay. And we might want to change the color of some of these. Eventually, you're going to have to group them together. Right, and don't forget because we're working with multicolors here that you're going to click on the color and choose multicolor. And now when I move this around, it moves together just like this. So I'll let you figure out the rest. Uh, this is your Tinkercad test. Um, I think I'm out of time. And these last two lines rhymed. Okay, thank you. Um, the finished product should just be a screenshot. So give me, um, I don't know, like a nice angled shot, something like this, right? So kind of a corner screenshot. Pick something that, pick an angle that will show off all your parts uh, the best, right? So it kind of depends on which um, teapot you've chosen here of these five choices. And I hope you enjoyed this one. Peter Shire, awesome artist. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you. Goodbye.